Yo, what's up everyone, Lad here. With the collaboration coming soon, we'll definitely be seeing new players entering the game. Over the past weeks, I've had questions on how to play Octopath Traveler COTC on Bluestacks, so today we're going to go over how to exactly do that. And if you're in a country that doesn't have this game, I'll be showing you how to use a VPN. And then after that, we'll also go over how to properly back up your data once you get decent characters. And lastly, how to reroll. Before we get started, do understand that the developers do frown upon using emulators, which Bluestacks is, to play the game. But just because it's frowned upon doesn't mean that it's bannable. This is a game that you will need to sit down and play. So let's go ahead and begin. Firstly, to download Bluestacks, go to this page here. The link should be in the description. It's bluestacks.com slash download.html. Scroll down, you should see a version that says Pi64. Go ahead and click on that. Once you have downloaded that, go ahead and open up the Bluestacks app and you'll see that you have a Play Store. Click on that and create an account or log in to your account. Once you're done with that, go ahead and search up Octopath and you should see Octopath Traveler COTC. For the reason that you don't, you might be in a country that the game isn't listed in. You might have to use a VPN. In the other cases, if you do see Octopath, go ahead and install it. If for some reason you're having an error with the game where it's not loading up, go down to your Windows Turn feature on or off. Make sure you turn off Hyper-V or Machine Virtualization. In other cases, inside your Windows Security, go down to your Device Security, and then you should see something that says Core Isolation. Click on Core Isolation Details. And make sure you turn off memory integrity and your local security authority protection. For some reason, Bluestacks does not like this running. With all that turned off, it should work. Now before you open up the game, go to the settings and make sure your performance mode is on to high performance. And then for frame rate, I have mine set up at 240. I haven't had any crashes in this game. And then for graphics, open GL, interact X, and that's all you need to do. So with all that, it should work. Now once you open up the app, it's going to tell you that it needs to use storage. Go ahead and accept all that and go ahead and install the game data. So now let's say you have a team that you like. It's time to make sure you back your data to the Square Enix account. The last thing you want to do is put time in and lose all your data because you forgot to save it. Go over to the options in the game and tap on backup. That will take you to a page where you'll register an account with Square Enix. And that account will be where your Octopath data will be on. Let's say for some reason Bluestacks is no longer working. But you do know that you have your data backed up into the server. Simply log into your Square Enix account on your phone and load up. A quick warning though, you cannot play this game on one account on your phone and Bluestacks simultaneously. It will give you a prompt to transfer your data which is going to be a hot second before you can log on to your account. Although it's quite convenient as if you're away from your PC, you can start where you left off on your phone. Now for VPN in Play Store, search up an app called VPN.LAT. Again, all of this will be in the description. This will allow Bluestacks to treat you as if you're in another country. Once installed, tap on the countries that are near you that have access to the game. Tap on connect, and once it's connected, click on the home page. The home page is found in the right corner. Now with that, go to system apps and click on settings. And you want to find Google Play Store. And go ahead and player storage. That's going to get rid of the Google Play Store that's in your country and replace it with the VPN that you have. So once you clear the storage, go back to Google Play and you should find Octopath Traveler. So with all that, let's talk about re-rolling. With the Near Automata collab happening this Wednesday, this is the perfect time to start your journey in COTC. 2B and E2 will carry you very far, but you can also re-roll to get these two along with top tier units such as Therion, Ophelia, and Elfin. Those are just a few. Or you can just try the game and see if you like it. Now re-rolling in this game is quite simple. Go ahead and hold on to the Octopath app. Go down to app info, go down to storage, and click on clear. That should allow you to start the game for new data. Just remember to back up your data once you get a decent team. For re-rolling, the best way is to use as many accounts as you can. And you can do that by going down to the multi instance manager on the right corner. It's a little box. Go ahead and click on the blue stacks that you have at the moment. So mine's seven. You want to go down to instance and go ahead and clone that. It's going to create another blue stacks, so you can have as many blue stacks running as much as your computer storage is able to handle. So you could be rerolling eight accounts at one time. And rerolling this game takes about 10 minutes, but this is also the best way to reroll, having many accounts to do all at once. All right, well, let me know if this helps, and like always, take care of yourselves, lad out.